Hare Krishna It is the duty of the spiritual master to see my disciples is properly following the spiritual path or not is his heart is purified of all the nonsensical thing the anarthas he has to check that so we are going to see one very nice story very wonderful story in this regard so once there was an acharya his name was the ramanujacharya he is the foremost acharya of shri sampraday he had one disciple whose name was the dashrathi so this particular dashrathi was very very famous and very very renowned for his scholarship in the vedas and the puranas and the itihasa so many things he had learned and but the problem was he had that pride that i know something and ramana acharya the yatiraj knew that so he wanted that my disciple should be freed from the pride so he was thinking how can i teach him the lesson so once upon a time it so happened that the dashruti had some doubt in the scriptures he had the doubt in the particular verse where krishna says sarva dharman parityajya mam ekam sharanam vraja aham tvam sarva papetbhyo moksha ishami ma shuchah this is conclusion of the bhagavad gita but the krishna says please surrender uh, all the living to the living beings that you know surrender unto me i will protect you from the all sins so he had a doubt that you now he wanted that the guru maharaj should reveal this particular verse to me he should tell me the meaning of this verse in more details so the ramana jacharya told him you know when the proper time will come i will narrate you the whole meaning so he wanted to tell him that you know as soon as your pride you know is gone away that time i will reveal you this particular verse so on the same day the one lady whose name was atulai he was she was actually the daughter of mahapurana so mahapurana was the guru of the ramanujacharya so this atulai came to the ramanujacharya and she spoke to the ramanujacharya she told oh ramanujacharya and you, you need to help me so ramanujacharya said why so he she told that you no know, we don't have the proper arrangement for the water near the hope so i need to go you no know, very long to fetch the water from the well and then i come to the home and then i cook and then i feed my you know all the people in the home my husband my daughter my children and my in laws so once one day i went to my you know mother in law and i told her you know i need to go to so uh, so far to fetch the water and it's very tiring for me i get totally fatigued after getting so much water and then i need to cook so please do something please help me and she started chastising me she was telling to ramanujacharya she started chastising me she she told me no go and get the servant from your father house so then i went my father house to the mahapurana but my father now is you know in an old condition he is invalid i cannot ask from him so i thought if i can't ask from my father i can ask from disciple of my father so i came to you please help me and when he noticed that you know Maha, it's mahapurna desire that i should help her so he immediately told the dashrathi dashrathi now go and please help the atulai so he told to the dashrathi now you will you will have to cook and you will have to fetch the water for the atulai and the whole family members dashrathi realized this is the test my guru maharaj is checking my pride i know so many things right but am i ready to offer all kinds of service to my guru he is checking he realized that and he said yes my guru maharaj i am ready to do anything for you for your pleasure so he left with natulai and he was doing the daily chores he was fetching the water every day early in the morning and that he used to cook in the kitchen throughout the day he would provide the delicious dishes to all of them no in fact everyone in the village came to know about this particular cook now, of course he did not reveal his identity as a dashrathi the biggest scholar 
that time in the Sri Rangam, in fact in overall India, nobody came to know. He was disguised as a cook and he was cooking and feeding and people came to know that he is the best of the cook in the whole area. So once upon a time there was a big Bhagavad Saptaha in that particular village and Atulai told that, oh my dear cook, please come with me, we will go to hear the holy discourse on the Srimad Bhagavatam, please come with me. And Dashraj told, let us hear what this particular person is speaking. So he went and he was sitting in the crowd, he was listening to the Bhagavad Katha. But this particular Bhagavad speaker, Bhagavatam speaker who was sitting on the Vyasasan, he was giving the wrong conclusions about the Siddhanta, about the principles. And the Dashrati was the perfect sannyasi. In, you know, he knew all the scriptures practically and when he realized that what he, he is just fooling the people by telling the wrong philosophy, he stood up at the place and he started chastising. He started speaking against the speaker, that particular Bhagavatam speaker. And Bhagavatam speaker told, hey, who are you? You just look like a cook. Go and you know cook in the kitchen show your expertise there what do you know about the scripture i am the authority in the scripture what do you know and then the dashrati could not tolerate this but without getting annoyed he was started giving the various various refresh uh, the you know he was reci started reciting the various various references from the, the scriptures you know, from the upanishads and the puranas and the itihasas and all people were mesmerized by seeing his, you know, knowledge, his scholarship, he defeated in front of everyone that particular scholar. And that particular scholar also realized that he is not an ordinary person. He has to be something big. And he also realized that there is no, no, uh, no person in the whole area other than Dashrati who can defeat me in the scriptures and he realized he is not an ordinary cook he must be an Dashruti and without wasting a second he came in front of the Dashruti and in front of everyone he started offering his obeisances to the cook was who to the Dashruti was disguised as the cook and then whole program was finished and people came to know that he is not an ordinary person he is Dashruti and they were feeling you know, shame, especially the Atulai and her in-law started feeling the shame. Hey, what we have done? This is such a big scholar, such a sannyasi, such an elevated sannyasi. And we are asking him to fetch the water for us, to cook for us. And we are shouting at him every day. What we have done? It's a big offense. Today we will go to the Ramanacharya and you know, we will request him, please don't send your elevated scholars here to cook in the kitchen and then all in fact all village villagers went to the Ramanurcharya and the Ramanurcharya told you know, what happened why you have come and they told Ramanurcharya you should have told us that he is a Dashrati he is so simple he is so prideless that although he has so much knowledge that we have seen yesterday night and he was defeating the scholar of you know Bhagavatam he has defeated him with his proper Siddhanta and he is cooking in, in, in the home of the Atulai just as ordinary cook. He is so prideless. He is so humble. And when Ramadhanujari heard that, he was really happy. He realized that my disciple has actually become the prideless because others are glorifying him, right? And then he immediately went with them to the home of the Atulai. And then he reached the home and he embraced the Dashrati. Then Dashrati was crying in the tears. The Ramanujachari, you know, then he told him the meaning of the Sarva Dharma He told, he revealed the internal meaning of this verse. And at the same time, he told him that from today, I, I would like to offer you the, another name, Vaishnav Das. Because for so many months, you have offered the best of the service to all the Vaishnavas in the whole village. From today your name will be Vaishnavadas. So from the story we can see that how the humility and pridelessness can actually satisfy the pure devotee of the Lord. The pure devotee of the Lord, the Guru doesn't need 
and the best of the things of the world but they just want to see how my disciple is becoming bereft of the all anarthas of the heart thank you very much hare krishna